Can you use Boomer Mortar Quincy? I'm not using Boomer Mortar Quincy. Stop asking. All right, guys, in today's video, we will be using strategy of Boomer, Mortar, and Quincy. This is a highly requested, probably the most requested strategy on my channel. Some people really love it. So we're start with our Boomerang Tower right here. Put this guy on last. Yep, yep. And then we'll get our Quincy down next pretty early, and we'll see how this goes. They're starting with their tax shooter. Fair enough. Let's get Quincy down. Nice. I am Quincy, son of Quincy. Yes, you are. And then we'll get Glaives on my Boomerang as well in a couple seconds. And we should be full vibing. Leaves. Nice. There we go. They got Jericho. They got Tack. Okay. It's going to be Tack from West Jericho for my opponent. Who would have guessed? We'll send him some greens here. We'll also get down my Bloom. But we're not going to place the Farmer down here because the Farmer will collect bananas automatically. And sometimes I won't want that because I'll be trying to avoid Jericho steal. So Farmer is a no go today. Farmer's a no go. One income boost. I'll get my farm down. Perfect. You love to see it. You love to see it here. Okay, they're sending me yellows. We're gonna upgrade my boomerang here. Boomerang there, boomerang, boomerang everywhere. All right. We're good against these yellows now. Upgrade my farm once. We're gonna try to avoid their money steal as well. Avoiding their money steal is gonna be important for me. Upgrade the farm. Nice. Play on, place down a 0-0 zero, zero boomerang. Help me a little bit on defense. And avoided some of their money steal. Which is what we want. Okay, I need to get up this bionic now. Yeah, okay, should be good against this stuff now. With the bionic, and we are. Perfect. All right, we're good. That was a decent start to the game. That was a decent start with the Boomerang Mortar Quincy combination, ladies and gentlemen. The Boomerang Mortar Quincy combination. Uh, camo balloons are coming. Oh yeah, my, my Quincy doesn't have camo detection until next round, so we just gotta let those camo balloons slip by. We just have to let them slip on through my fing through my fingers, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing I can really do about them round six. Good thing is we still have a decent amount of life count to tank. Uh, next money steal. I'm not gonna really be able to avoid it. We'll just let him do it. Let's get my Quincy on camel targeting. Nice. Okay, we're doing good against those camels now. They got their plantation up a lot before me. That's fine though. It's a okay with me. We'll be able to get my plant here soon. And we've got a pretty big eco lead, if I were to guess. Our eco lead is quite significant. Plantation, nice. Okay, they got wolf fire on their thing as well, actually, which is interesting because I never really rushed them to force it. Did not send them a rush to force their wolf fire. We got up shimmer. They don't have necromancer yet. I'm gonna rush them. We'll just hold it down. Okay, we force them out. We'll take that. Okay, we're defending stuff pretty well. Yeah, we'll be good against this. That shouldn't do anything. No, it doesn't. We're totally good there. Yes, sir. Um, we're sending them another rush. Some rainbows in the front front. Some zebras behind and purples on top of it. Balloon boost. They boost. Are they good? Kind of scary. No, they're not good. GG's. Okay. Boomer Mortar Quincy OP, ladies and gentlemen. You saw it here first. Boomer Mortar Quincy is indeed op you just send them the purple blue in round 11. i'll catch y'all in the next game
All right, our next match of the video is on the map Cobra Command. Now, I don't know where to place my Boomer Mortar Quincy stuff here, so we're going to, like, wing it, essentially. I'm going to try it right here for a Boomerang. I'm last. Maybe switch the hand. Switch the handedness here. But, yeah, I'm not sure about my placements on this map, so... This game might not go as well. I don't think this is a, as good of a map for it as well here. Switch the hand in this real quick. Oh, it's hitting the obstacle there. We'll keep it on last. Keep it on. Okay, we're doing fine now. We're doing fine now. We'll try to get our first farm up here pretty soon. Uh, probably should have placed Quincy honestly below the track would have been better. Because now it's going to get blocked. I didn't really think much with my Quincy placement, did I? It would have been better placed it like right here. Below where the track is. Okay. Let's get my farm down. I can place the farmer here round one because they have biker. They're going bomb mortar farm, I'm guessing. Which is my favorite strategy for this map. Get faster throwing. It's even faster throwing. Okay, we're good against that. They got their cluster up. Fair enough. Fair enough. This boomerang spot's not bad. I just I really know where to place it. He's trying he keeps trying to layer on me. I don't really think these are going to do anything. It could if he presses the button, but since he's not pressing the button, these are easy defense. These are very easy defense. And I'll send them um, white balloons balloon boosted with a button pressed next round, which will either force boost on their side or force the heavy bombs. So either way, it's a good rush for me. It's a good rush. You can send bomb. Balloon boost. They boost. Fair enough. Let's use Quincy ability here. Deal with these a little bit and get Bionic up. Okay, we're good. Is there a bomb on first? It is. Oh. Okay, they, they fixed the targeting. Bomb on first is not good. I'm going to press button again on them. And balloon boost. Okay, we forced the heavy bombs. Perfect. Why is there bomb on first, bro? Why are you putting your bomb on first? You have to boost because it's on first sembri no sembrero. You gotta you gotta fix your bomb targeting, bro. That's two boosts down for my opponent now. It's not very good for them. That is not very good for them. Alright, let's get this up to a plantation. Nice. They're going for a second bomb shooter just to play it safe because they're low on lives with one boost left. So they're not gonna get their plantation for a while, it looks like. Send some zebra eco, because why not? Get another farm down. We can play really greedy with my strategy, which is the nice part about it. Your early game greed is quite nice. We're going to mortar down. Set target right there. Bernie stuff. Okay, they got their mortar down as well. Nicely done. All right, we're vibing at the moment. No complaints. Is there anything I can send them? I guess I can send them... Let's get Ricochet up on my side. Okay, he didn't send very many region rainbows, so I don't need to get up on more glaives there. I can send them some... Um, Let's get up my farm first. Get that up. Uh, I should have pressed button. I completely forgot to press button, to be honest. If I press button there, we probably get through. Go for an extra mortar here with that. That's not going to do anything. I got this mortar up in case he sent me ceramics, because Heavy Shells is really good against ceramics, but he did not send me any ceramics, so we're good. Alright, keep it going. I don't know how much eco I want to go for. Probably not a ton, because it'll be aggressive, so... We'll stop pretty soon. Like, maybe like 1100. Okay. And I'll send them a fortified, fortified mobs round 18. Will be my next plan. I don't know where I'm supposed to put my put my Moab press as well here. I'll just place it right here, I guess. It's probably not a very good spot for it. 
be right here. Hmm. I have no idea where we're supposed to place Moa Press. If, I, if he rushes me. I've got no clue. Because especially if they press the button on you. It's like... Okay, we'll split them. So then they layer on top of each other. Watch this, watch this. There we go. They boost. They might still be dead on boost. The fortified ceramics from the second one, yep. All right, GG's. Boomer Mortar Quincy is 2-0 right now, guys. It's an OP strategy. All right, guys. Our next match of the video is against Winnie here on the map. Um, What's this map called? What is this map called? Building site with the same strategy. I don't know. I don't think this strategy is very good on building site. So this will be interesting. I'll place my boomerang right here, though. Seems like a decent boomerang spot to start off on. And we'll place our Quincy down here as well. All right. Nice. We're against Winnie here, starting with attack shooter. Fair enough. But yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like boomerang is just not the best on this map, especially with the pipe in the middle. It just like blocks the boomerang throws. So that's something I'm a little bit worried about here. I'm a little bit worried. This is a pretty good boomerang um, spot, though. I kind of just cooked it up straight up, straight out the crock pot, you know what I'm saying? I kind of just cooked it first thing first. It's a pretty decent boomerang spot. Quincy should snipe those pretty well. Look at that. Look at that snipe, bro. Quincy the sniper. Quincy never misses. I'm telling you, Quincy, I don't think I've ever seen Quincy miss a shot before. Faster throwing. I need to get both faster throwing upgrades though. Faster rings, nice. And I can't go for any farm upgrades here, I think. I just straight up save up for the um Bionic round five. Especially on this map. This map's hard, so I need to be careful with my defense. He's stealing from me. We're gonna get this up. Avoid some of the money steal. Nice. Look at the money steal avoidance, guys. Look at the money steal avoidance from Mr. Mahalik. Alright. We avoided a decent amount of it. And this should defend whites pretty well. Yep, we're good there. And we have enough life count left over where Jericho Camels should not be a worry. So, pretty good start, I'd say. I think I had to play really safe there and not go for any farm upgrades. I could maybe have greeted one farm upgrade, but it would have been, it would have been sketch. It would have been sketch. Great production. Nice. Can't, Quincy doesn't have camo protection this round, but it'll get next round. We'll force a round seven boost on my opponent. But we'll get a second farm first. He sold his farm there. That was interesting. I don't think selling your farm was necessity, but you know, if you if you believe so. Okay, he might need to sell his farm here because I'm gonna send him more. You're really low on lives. I don't have a balloon boost though, but those leaks are scary. No, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah. When you don't have a boost like that, you need to be safe and get ready to get that wall of fire up, dude, because that was not very good for my opponent. Boomer Mortar Quincy, bro, is just it's just unbeatable right now. I don't know what to say. We'll keep going because I, I haven't been playing very long and I already have like what three or four wins. All right, our next game is against subs to fast net. We're on the map of Dino Graveyard here, so I think I'm gonna start with Boomerang right here. It's a decent spot for it. Or do I place it up higher? No, I'm gonna place it just a little bit lower right here. They're going to Quincy here. Interesting. So they're, go, they're bringing Quincy here. So we're both going Quincy hero. Let's go with my Quincy right there. Fair enough. We'll see how this goes. Do want to anti do want to anti-stall probably. Anti-stalling is probably a smart decision here. Send him some greens. Probably talk farm Wiz Quincy. I'm guessing they're going. Not sending me any greens, which is odd. So I don't honestly have to go for glaives. They don't send me greens. I'm probably just greed for a farm before I even get glaives up. Perfect. And I can place it on my farmer as well because they don't have Jericho. Alright. Perfect start. 
greeted for a really early farm. They still weren't sending me any yellow balloons or anything. So, yeah. They're sending me greens now. Let's get up glaives. I don't think I need to get faster throwing on it. Oh, now they're sending me yellows. So we'll get faster throwing. Okay, we're fine now. And this is a pretty good boomerang spot as well. I just cook up the boomerang spots, guys. I don't even play boomerang. I just, I just know them instinctually. I just know them. I just know them, bro. I just know them. Okay, round 11, run 5, we're going to need to get my Bionic up. So I just start with a Bionic, then a Glaive Ricochet. It's much cheaper. But obviously, if you start with a Glaive Ricochet, then um, the advantage is you get have an easier path to your more Glaives. Okay, let's use Quincy ability here. Let's get a Bionic. We're chilling. Easy defense. Easy defense, ladies and gentlemen. Great production. Perfect. They got wizard. They got a wizard down as well with their tap. I don't think that's necessary. Harry. I guess they use a pretty bad tax spot, but they have Quincy. Like Quincy should be helping you out quite a bit to defend. I don't think you need a fireball against Space Deco when you already have a blade shooter up. A wall of fire, mind you. Holy cow, this guy is defending. This guy is over defending so much. He is over defending his over defense. Save up for this banana plantation here soon. That banana plantation. Plantation nation. One eco boost, I'll go get it up. Nice. Got it. You love to see that. Where do I want to place my more glaives? I guess I could place it like right here. This is an okay spot. Not exactly sure. Place it right here. Send him some zebra eco because I'll just max eco it. Actually, let's just send him black balloon eco and get up on their farm. Why not? We'll get mortar down. Okay, they got the necromancer up. Wait. Hold it down. Hold it down, guys. No, they're good. I should have I should have uh, held it down more. Well, we forced a boost, which is fine, honestly. Forcing a boost isn't bad. Okay. Can I rush the metal? I feel like Necromancer is kind of strong on this map. The ghost balloons, you just like you can't rush them and eat up their ghost balloons with the, for the start of your rush because they're so far back. That's why Necromancer is strong on this map. I feel like I've just gotta let him be for a bit. Maybe I'll have to take this one late with Boomer Morta Quincy. Boomer Morta Quincy late game, guys. Go for a second, um, plant. Let's get red hot rings on that. How much does it sell for? 1600, so I need 1800 on hand if I want my more glaives, which there's no reason to get my more glaives up right now. He hasn't been pressuring me. Which continue econ. Okay, let's sell this. Get that up. He goes for a ring of fire. What the heck? Oh my gosh. This guy is doing things. Not professionally though. He's not doing things professionally. I don't know why you'd build that up when I haven't been rushing you. We'll stop going right there. What's going to happen here? They haven't pressured me at all. So I'll just, I'll just save it for my BRF, I guess. Honestly, I can probably do decent late game in this matchup because I can just send them a big green line of ZMGs. And then we probably we probably die to a BAD ourselves, but ZMGs are faster than the BAD. So, yeah. And I can have up, have up a... um. What's it called? A mob domination and stuff to defend DTs. Or a Bloonsin, something like that. I heard Bloonsin's pretty broken. 
That's what the word on the street is. Bloonson's pretty broken. Okay, Moab. Honestly, I don't need to get up Moab press against this. I'm gonna use Quincy 10. I think. And let's get up Moab. Let's get up that. Alright, we're safe. I used both things on it though, just to play safe. But yeah, we'll play it full passive. We'll play this last match of the video full passive and see how it goes. They're sending me a ZMG when I have Boomerang. Quite the interesting decision. I'll just go for a farm while there's a ZMG on my screen because I'm not really worried about this. Boomerang is like one of the better towers at ZMGs because it just infinitely stoles it basically. And then we'll just get up a um, artillery battery for insides. So yeah, I don't know about this rush. I'm not sure about this rush, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we're kind of struggling to pop the layer, but I think we'll be fine. I could honestly get more Moab presses if I really need as well. And we have Quincy 10 on top of that. I think we're good here. Do I boost? That's boost. That's boost. Let's play it safe. Oh yeah, bro. Look at it. Look at the defense. And then we use Quincy 10 on this one. Oh my gosh, never mind, that almost died, that almost died. Because I was out of boost and out of artillery battery on the second one. That got kind of scary, I'm not going to lie. Does biggest one defend stuff? I hope it does. Come on. Okay, that got kind of scary. I thought biggest one was, like, good, but it might not be very good. Alright, we're good, though. No, we're fine. We're fine, chat. I should have went for a Blue Incineration, to be honest. Blue Incin's really expensive, though. I haven't really used it much. How does this do? Oh my gosh! The B the DDT died instantly. Wait a second. Bloonson. Oh, he's sending me a Moab. I wanted to send more DTs. I wanted to see it against DTs. Okay. I think it has increased DT damage or something. That was kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. All right, well, the GG's guys, as you can see, Boomer Mortar Quincy is the meta strategy in Battles 2 right now. It is just OP. You can't lose with it. But that is it for today. Ramalag out. Peace, lads.